Something is trying to call me But my mind is somewhere else My plans are made with the purest earth I laid them there myself I can't escape it If I could, would I choose to keep this skin? The priest is speaking, the air is cold And my second life is coming in Outside the traffic is building Ain't you got somewhere to go? The road that runs down by the shoreline Is the only place I know The heart is sunken There's something gone Make you just want to give on in The sky is heavy The tide is strong And my second life Is coming in Chasing in shadows But the night is soft and still The day has been looking like breaking And I suppose today it will The moon is empty Not given up But a new moon will begin The ground is frozen It's hard as stone But my second life Is coming in Willkommen, willkommen Freunde zu äh, Music Fair Tippi Nummer 6. Heute mit einem ganz besonderen Gast, den wir uns 
lange gewünscht haben. Heute ist er hier. Ähm, versteht selber gut Deutsch, aber äh, würde lieber das, die Interviews in Englisch führen. Ähm, welcome, Mr. A.S. Fanning. Thank you. From Dublin, Ireland. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. And um, um, uh, Steve is not alone. Yeah. You, 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 you have someone brought with you. This is Fred. Frederick von Sunessen, all the way from Copenhagen. All right. And, and Fred is uh, playing synth. And uh, for those, who, uh, those of you who, who uh, would recognize what, what that is, it's a synthesizer and a stomp box. This is the bass drum. You know. Should you do that again? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. This is our suitcase setup, you know. Yeah, <laughs> the the Italian outfit you set. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is the uh, the lineup you you're going to at the moment. Um, With no, it changes a lot. Yeah. So this was this was the lineup we used for an Italian tour last year. All right. Okay. Which was uh, necessarily small. We kind of managed to tour in a small car with just the two of us. So that was the setup we used. But. Um, it can go anywhere from this to like solo shows or else a five piece band with Fred normally plays full drums and All right, okay. that kind of stuff. And also bass with his left hand. So uh, wow. he's um, very useful. <laughs> very useful. <laughs> and you've, uh, we, what we've just heard was the title track of your first mm -hmm. solo record, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And coincidentally, we have it here um, in vinyl format. It's called Second Life. And uh, it's from 2017. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just November 2017, so just, right. just over a year ago. Okay, and um, Second Life uh, is um, was released on your own record label as well. You're running your own record label. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so we started a label called Proper Octopus, which is myself and Candace Gordon, and uh, we released her album uh, Garden of Beasts around the end of 2017 as well, I think maybe September or October. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it was a busy, it was a busy year, or the second half of the year certainly was. All right, okay. Would be, uh, and the second song we hear today is uh, uh, on the record as well, yeah? Carmelita, yeah. All right, okay. And uh, th that got, you brought that out on a, on a seven inch vinyl? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so okay. that was my first release uh, a few years ago. Yeah, okay. Um, but it was also on the album, yeah. Okay, and now we hear Carmelita in a, in a in an acoustic form, yeah. Yeah, cool. If you're if you're ready. We're ready, yeah. I hope our audience as well. <laughs>
Pretty girls on the boardwalk tonight Pick up your Kansas Sider boys, line up to the right They hitch up their skirts, they'll drink till they fight And I won't look away All alone and divided we stand With the marks of carelessness blackened on our hands And I don't know, no, I don't understand But I won't walk away Jacket kneeling on the floor For 40 minutes dying 40 fucking years more With the rats in the road The leeches at the door At 8 in the morning Man, I can help you score I do not care to fight that war Oh, Carmelita Hold me tighter Does Mary pray for us When we're all strong down the back of the bus Oh, Carmelita Hold me tighter Does Mary pray for us When well, we're all strung out on heroin Sitting down the back of the bus Steve, can can you can you tell us uh, the story behind the song? Is there, is there, um, is there is that a true life story? Or? It's kind of true and false at the same time. Um, <laughs> it's um, it's kind of a song I wrote actually when I decided to move away from Dublin. Um, and yeah, it's kind of there's a big heroin problem in Dublin, you know, and it's very visible and very. Where I was living in Dublin at the time, it was a very uh, visible thing. So it was kind of um, this kind of, it's a slightly romantic song about Dublin, but also, I suppose, showing some of the darker, less pleasant aspects of it as well, you know? Yeah, right. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. You, you've been touring a lot over the last couple of years, and um, you've which led you to Cape Town or South by Southwest, yeah. Um and uh, you're living you're living in Berlin for a while now. Yeah. Um has that when we talk about lyrical inspiration, um has that has that affected your 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 way of songwriting? A little bit, yeah. I think to to see Ireland maybe when when you say uh, Yeah, from a bit of a distance maybe. Yeah, exactly or, from yeah. outside. Yeah. There's also a, a thing of um I kind of understand quite a bit of German, but I don't speak it very well. But there's definitely a difference in when you go around in Dublin and you kind of pick up things in the streets, just overheard conversations and things like that, which is like, I suppose, in a strange way, being in a in a place where I don't speak the language so well makes you kind of go into inhabit your own world in your own head a little bit more than than engaging with with stuff outside. And memories popping up, maybe. Yeah. From, yeah. yeah. Possibly. Yeah. But it's all. It's all got a how can I put it a, a dark side to it, yeah. It's uh, it's yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Um, when you listen to 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 your first record, um, there's lots lots of soundscapes, mm -hmm. and it's uh, you know very grounded tremolo facts layers, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, that makes it quite sound quite big, you know, yeah, and and, and um, mis Mysterious. Yeah, I mean, I suppose a lot of the my way of producing that album, I kind of had this vibe in mind, which was very much about drawing people in, as opposed to grabbing people's attention. You know, it's more. It's I think it's more like a record that hopes that you'll you'll engage with it. You know, and that it's quite quiet, but it's also sonically kind of big sounding. Yeah. yeah. Um. So like, if you're kind of willing to to get in the mood it's kind of there's stuff going on there I think but yeah, it's, it's kind of a quiet record though, you know? yeah it soaks you in absolutely yeah, I hope so. from, from the first song to, to, the, to the final song it's like you can listen to it to it in one piece you yeah, know? yeah 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 um, yeah well that's definitely something I kind of I spent quite a long time writing a bunch of songs and 
at a certain point I, I selected like eight songs that were going to make up the album and I definitely selected the ones that I felt fit together and, and that, that told some con some kind of story, you know, there's a lot of stuff about it's kind of about leaving Dublin and moving to Berlin and, and a lot of that stuff that was going on in my life at the time and I kind of picked the songs that that fit in with that story but you know. Alright, okay. Then we would like, I would say uh, we, we have a third th third song from uh, yeah. from the first album called Dark Star. Mm -hmm. Dead car, fishnet, dark star, dead bed, long night, cold sky, broken glass, green eye, bracelets and rings, her lovers had bought her, isn't that what she claimed they were? Tricks the goddess of torment had taught her She expects you to beg for her You met a sweet boy In that stupid bar with no name He was so kind and helpful Apologized when he came I could see you through the cracks in the mirror Lit by a naked flame I bet you rather would forget than remember Cause I could see your shame Well I I hope I made you hate me tonight Oh my, my Front step, noisy door Her bed, dirty floor Hard light, this is my son Hey kid, what's the worst thing you've ever done? Same girl, lazy and wild Isn't that who you used to be? Round young virgin, mother and child Do you expect my sympathy? You turn with your face in your hands can't you just act like a man? I promise you, baby, I can. You met a sweet boy in that stupid bar with no name. He was so kind and helpful Apologized when he came I could see you through the cracks in the mirror Lit by a naked flame I bet you rather would forget than remember Cause I could see your shame Well I I hope I made you hate me tonight Oh my, my I hope I made you hate me tonight Oh my, my
<coughs> Thanks. Thank you. Hey, uh, let's talk about your new record. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a new record in a way, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, um, y you're producing your, your music yourself, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, do you have a name for, for the record already? Um, it's kind of the working title is You Should Go Mad, which is... You Should Go Mad. Why, why should we go mad? I don't know. It's, uh, it's not really a very sound piece of advice or anything. <laughs> um, but um, it's actually a, a line from Moby Dick. There's a, there's a scene in Moby Dick where um, Captain Ahab is talking to the blacksmith and uh, that's the advice he gives them. They, they should go mad. <laughs> okay, All right. But um, yeah, it's kind of, the, the song that, that the title is taken from is, is a kind of a song about um, mental Ill illness, I suppose, which isn't necessarily what the full album is about, but um, I kind of thought it was a fitting title all the same, you know. But um, would, would you hear the madness in the music as well? How, how much, uh, uh, yeah, c compared to the first one, uh, where, where, where yeah. would you say, is, can, can you already say, that is, is there a difference? In the, yeah, in the there's definitely a difference. Or? And yeah. then I think part of the reason I liked that as a title for the album is because it's, it jumps around quite a lot, which I kind of, so some of the songs are kind of acoustic and then some are, are kind of electronic. There's electronic drums and stuff and a lot of synthesizers and things. And then maybe three or four songs with a, a full kind of five piece band with drums and stuff. So. Right. A lot of different sounds, and it, it kind of it jumps around. Um, so the album is uh, the, the the recordings are in the final stages, and production is yeah. in the final stages. Yeah, yeah, pretty much pretty much done. We kind of we spent about three days in the studio called Impression Recordings in in Vetting in Berlin last summer, um, which was kind of done in between touring and stuff. So it's only now since the last six weeks or so, I've gotten mm. to go back and and kind of do the last. 10%, which is nearly finished now. Is there a release date planned already or? No, it's just, no. I'm, I'm kind of, I was kind of wary of setting a release date before the thing is finished because you just end up, okay. you know, making a mess of it. <laughs> Steve, where uh, can we get your uh, music and especially uh, the vinyl, which we have here, oh, yeah. you know, for all the fans? Um, so yeah, the vinyl is, I think you can actually get it through Amazon and stuff, but you can also get it on Bandcamp and all that. All right, okay. Um, and the album is on Spotify and all those places too. Okay, so uh, meet Ace Fanning on the web, in the shops, and are uh, of course live, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we have a first song of the new record with the working title, You Should Go Mad, um, called All The Time. And uh, we see each other on well, the next show of Music for a Tippy, and we'd like to thank you Cheers. guys for being here. Thank you. Fred and Steve. Thanks to Fred, uh, he was very quiet there, but he's very important, very silent member. Funny <laughs> jokes this time. <laughs> all right, um, we have all the time. Happy to be your friend Till the leaves or the stars descend But I'm there, I'm here And I'm sixteen standing holding two cans of beer Or I'm sleeping on your floor I don't want to hate myself no more But I'm worlds from that Thirty-two years old in a Berlin flat But if I could keep one moment in my mind Right now you know it's you I'd find And love you tonight for all time Love you tonight for all time
feet always hanging round it'll take anything that ain't nailed down well of course i'm scared everything will be lost there's not been shared but i'm in some future that's fading slow late night talking the music low does the past still stay well don't worry someday we'll forget everything but a walk out in the moonlight sounds just fine won't talk about tomorrow or pretend you're mine just love you tonight for all time love you tonight for all time you know i'm happy to be your friend till the night or the world should end but i'm there i'm here and i'm 16 standing holding two cans of beer or i'm in a future that's fading slow late night talking with the music low does the past still sting Someday we'll forget everything But a walk out in the moonlight sounds just fine Won't talk about tomorrow or pretend you're mine Just love you tonight for all time Love you tonight for all time